guys, welcome to the tier list for Snowbreak Containment Zone. This is the September edition. This will have a new look kind of to the tier list. I need your inputs, guys, on how it looks. Um, probably ratings that I need to change. And also probably descriptions that I need to add. So, feel free to comment down in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe while you're reviewing the tier list. This helps the channel a lot. Okay, so this is what I was saying for the tier list. I added a couple of details below. So, if you are seeing text only, it specifies that that um, operative uh, most probably will be more of a support rather than a DPS operative, okay? So with regard to the current meta that we have now, if you plan to use them still, they, these will be their role. So starting with Enya, obviously she's going to be a support. She was once a the best friend of Yao Winter Solstice. Um, she does still give buffs particularly with thermal um, damage um, operatives or, or, or weapons. So um, she's going to be limited really in her support. But if you want to use her, she is mainly for a support basis. Next up, we have Nita and Haru in tier 4. Okay, so take note that their only skill... Um, Haru is going to be skilled more in single target versus mobbing for nita so take note they are at the bottom of the tier list next up is going to be tier three okay the stars above are showing but then never mind tier three we do have frisha hush um i've decided to not consider um because we have beginners of, of course because, and also, Frisia has been a unit that has come out, and you don't really farm for copies of her anyway at, at this stage of the game. Um, you would rather farm for those who we are actually considering on the top of the tier list. So, this is going to be based on Frisia Hush's um, low investment or no investment at all. Okay, so that is why she's at tier 3. Just take a look at the rankings or the ratings here below. Again, please feel free to comment down if you feel that the stars are lacking or the stars are more than enough than what I have indicated. Um, with her is actually live um, Wednesday. So we also have Cerno here. Better used as a support for slowing down enemies with her support skill. Mauxir here um is actually torn between the active op and her support both active skill and uh, support skill is kind of the same but both are not going to be you know giving you a significant damage but again if you want to use her, her her kit is very fun to use so again she is actually a tier three and the last one is series the goldfish so series buff uh, for active op is going to be a shield which we don't use as much because it prevents us from being mobile so that is why she's at tier three okay going to tier two we do have marion swift again i'm considering um low investment or zero investment in the tiers because again, Marian is not a new unit. She's one of the she's part of the core units that came out uh, day one. So again, um, the rating is less investment because we're not obviously most players that are starting right now won't be farming much for her. So we have Marian Swift, Akasha uh, redacted, Fanny Lionheart, Marian Queen of Pain and Frisha little sunshine is actually a tier two Frisha will be thermal damage buff support um the rest would be dps for uh tier two we go now to tier one so for tier one we do have life uh wild hunt yao winter solstice chen shing 
Um, she's really average healer, average damage buffer, but she's all around. That is why I like her. Um, and also Yao here at uh, she, she is the best value for a healer at, at you know at four star. So she's at tier one. I just want to explain why Yao Winter Souls this is here. Although the single target damage for Yao is actually high, the skill level in playing a sniper is actually high, and we do have a lot of more powerful DPS ops that are actually fun to use, easier to use, and deal more damage than her. So, with that said, um, I will be quoting a comment on Yao that her playstyle is a bit outdated already. It's, while new ones have evolved to, you know, to the game itself, her playstyle is going to be updated, very traditional, very classic. Reload, uh, fire six bullets, reload again, buff, probably a few bullets, then fire. Again, the, the cap for using a sniper is going to be high because if you miss, out of the six, if you miss one, two, or three, it is going to affect your DPS or your damage, you know, um, as the game progresses. So, again, um, I'm putting Yao at tier 1. Uh, at this point, I know, I understand that she has tremendous damage. But if you don't have the skill really to bring her, and we do have better options for DPS, definitely she's going down at tier 1. Okay, this is the meat. This will be the meat of our conversation, tier 0.5. And uh, I can't seem to. Yeah, there you go. We get tier 0 0.5. These are the nearly there operatives. So Haru Absconditus, definitely very efficient in mobbing. Um, for Chen Xing. Um, okay. Um, Haru, if you bring Fanny Starshine with her, her single target damage with her gun is going to improve. Uh, also multi-part. The only problem is, of course, Ricochet. Um, Chenxing Ethereal Cloud, also with the help of Fanny Starshine, is going to be a monster with multi-part and mobbing as well. She just really doesn't know how to deal with single target. So again, we'll you know we'll we'll take the two five star and the one star for the single target. Next up is our new girl which is agave uh vidya so okay here are my thoughts for her um if you pair her with enya um i don't think it's a big you know it's 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 going to i don't know if you guys see the damage it isn't really as as big as i expected the only big damage that she's going to be dealing is going to be her ultimate when you have full stacks of 100. So basically, she she really excels with the recent update that they that they gave her. She really excels in multi-part damage. It really just you know explodes all over the place. And again, perfect. Uh, she and Chen Xing, they take your pick. Multi-part, they're going to be your specialist for mobbing though. She's kind of decent. Um, I like her for single target. She's decent as well. Um, I don't see her really um, specializing in you know being a single target operative. Um, she's really a multi-part operative, um, multi-part multi -part damage operative. So next are your supports. So Enya, she's currently our best uh, skill damage support. Um, I don't see any other in this game that um, is actually, you know, at her level. Um, next up is Chess the Magician. Best ultimate skill down reduction with her support ability. And Itchel, this girl, don't really need to use her, her support skill. Just need to act, you know, just put her there. Use her passive, continuously healing. Um, probably use her, you know, her active passive um, if you're really in, in need of that HP. So, without further ado, let's go up to our tier 0. So, considering that what has been added so far, um, Cherno is actually still, I think, queen of DPS. 
nuke damage. Her damage is really insane. Multi part. Um, also, she igno she she excels in it because she ignores it, especially for the mech. She ignores damage and goes straight through you know the whole thing or the body. So again, multi part. She doesn't need to do need to do the damage. She just goes straight and eats up the mech inside. For mobbing though. Scenario wise, her damage over time is actually good, but it does have limitations because if you place a void and and it, it's gonna be good for mobs if they pass through it, if you filter them through it. But if you they don't go through the void, then you have to you know re reposition that void again. So that they, they could be, you know, they could be um, damaged by the damage over time. But again, she, she makes up for that because voids do explode. So that is why um, she also has, kind of, it's kind of decent in mobbing as well. But she's going to be good in bosses, really. Um, either single target or multi-part. So next up is uh, life. Um, you have mobbing here. For multi-part, let us correct this. Let us have life at uh, three. Um, my only problem with her is sometimes because of ricochet, it doesn't go through. So she will be five for single target, five for mobbing, multi-part damage. She's going to struggle a bit because she needs to crack it. But once she cracks it, then you're done for. But again... She is still ex uh, excellent in single target damage and mobbing. So all of these stars are worth for her. Next up is actually Katya. Oh, sorry. With that said, for life, again, paired with Fanny Starshine, she's actually excellent for mobbing and single targets. Okay. Katya Blue Bolt. You pair her with Fanny Starshine. Um, it's going to be a monster single target. Um, the plus 40 bullets with additional damage from Fenny Star Shine really really you know helps her a lot. Multi-part damage um with her not having to reload it's not gonna be a problem for her. A little bit of a challenge of course because you're trying to smash something um so that you could go through that weakness and also for mobs um for mobbing, she is going to be okay, uh, above average, if I may say, um, because of the you know the the exploding arrowhead that she has, which is really really perfect for mobbing. So again, this is where she is left. Um, next up is going to be series Kisana, single target, of course. Um, with um with her ultimate really 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 nice she's gonna be struggling with multi parts of course um she needs to break those parts in order to deal more damage and mobbing as well she is actually good um with the shield and the charging and the damage that she puts out um when you know if you compare her really with life they're kind of similar okay and the other one in this list, um, Fanny Coronet really had a big bump when you know when Fanny Starshine came in. Um, single target, additional pellets, uh, buffs, buffs for her pellets, buffs for damage. Um, the problem with reloading was really really gone. And she could continuously really smash opponents, whether your single target, multi-part targets even are not really safe from her, and even for mobbing. So for mobs, as long as she has Fetty Star Shine, I don't think she is going to have, you know, she will have a problem. F she's only here because of Fetty Star Shine. Um, nonetheless, because again, um, she had problems before with with reloading number bullets, and that is all solved. So she's back at tier zero. So next up are your your um, supports. They're the best. So Fanny Starshine, 
best ballistic DPS support, additional damage, additional bullet capacity. <laughs> she, she really, really has a lot on her back. Mauxer Shadow Cod, best damage transfer, damage buff um, in the game. Um, really, really works well with bosses for additional damage. Um, next up, and uh, probably one of the core that we still have is Akasha Kaguya. Lowers all type resistance, can join really any team. So from the tier zero, um, the core here that are still here will be Fenny and Akasha. The rest are really new operatives added after launch. So basically, you still have, if you're still new, if, if you, you're still beginning, you still have very good operatives to use um, that came in, you know, um, either in day one or the first update in which Kaguya came out. So, again, guys, this is our tier list. Um, um, again, if you see stars, they are DPS operatives. If you see text only, they are mainly used as your support operatives in today's meta. So, Again, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden. And I'm out of here. Gotta zoom out first. So there you go. I'll be sharing this in the comment section. Sorry, in the, in the description of this video. And take care, guys. Stay safe. Adios. See you in the next video.